This is Wai Bai Du Chao in Shanghai, meaning the Free Foreign Bridge. The Free Foreign Bridge, built in 1907 over the Suzhou River, is a legendary bridge in Shanghai. It's called the Free Foreign Bridge because it was originally built by Westerners. When it was built, the residents in Shanghai could walk the bridge and cross the river for free. The Wai Bai Du Bridge is the first all-steel bridge and the only surviving example of a camelback trust bridge in China. It's located at the confluence of Suzhou River and the Huangpu River, adjacent to the Bund in Shanghai. It connects the Huangpu and Hong Kong districts and was opened on 20th of January 1908. With its rich history and unique design, the Wai Bai Du Bridge is one of the symbols of Shanghai. Its modern and industrial image may be regarded as the city's landmark bridge. In 1994, the Shanghai municipal government declared the bridge an example of heritage architecture and one of the outstanding structures in Shanghai. In the backdrop of the Wai Bai Du Bridge is the Shanghai Broadway Mansions, a 19-floor Art Deco five-star hotel in Shanghai. For half a century, the Shanghai Broadway Mansions is one of the primary symbols of Shanghai. When the Shanghai Broadway Mansions was completed in 1934, it became the tallest apartment building in Shanghai and remained so for several decades. For over a century, the Wai Bai Du Bridge and the Shanghai Broadway Mansions stood to witness the historic changes of Shanghai. In an ever-changing metropolis, the Wai Bai Du Bridge and the Shanghai Broadway Mansions still remain popular attractions and one of the few constants in the city skyline. The city market is a food court located in a shopping mall called the Rifle City the Bund in the North Bund in Shanghai. The food court is filled with famous Shanghainese restaurants and vendors, which serve traditional Shanghai food. But the city market is much more than food. The food court is occupied with old objects from 1980s and the 1990s of Shanghai. It was designed to evoke memories of an era when Shanghai and China were going through historic changes. I grew up in Shanghai during the era. Houses, narrow alleyways, furniture, appliances, banners, posters, all these objects were staged to bring nostalgic memory of the past. These are the familiar scenes which I grew up with. Walking through the food court is like going down the memory lane into my childhood. The city market food court is set in the Shanghai Longtang style community. Longtang is a term referring to a type of traditional lane or alley typically found in older neighborhoods in Shanghai. These alleys are often characterized by narrow passageways lined with residential buildings forming a maze-like network. The term is commonly associated with the traditional architecture and the layout of certain urban areas in Shanghai. They have a rich cultural and historical significance. They are often the backbone of older neighborhoods, providing a sense of community and preserving a more traditional way of life. These alleys are lined with courtyard houses where multiple families may share common spaces. While some Longtang have been preserved to showcase historical and cultural heritage, others have undergone redevelopment or faced challenges due to urbanization and modernization efforts in Shanghai. <laughs> 